This is Mike Halleck. Hi, this is Gerald Prescott. Prescott. This is Tommy Dreamer. What's up? It's the Rapping Ninja, Noel Reyes. With New Jersey Production. Oh, yeah. New Jersey Productions. Tuned in with New Jersey Productions here at the Newark Comic Con. How you doing, everybody? This is Mike Halleck. Não apareça pra luta. E aí vem... Live from the Newark Comic Con, I'm here with uh, Jersey Productions. Yes, you are. How excited were you when you decided to come here? And yeah. how did that go I tell you what, I love the East Coast. You know, when Mark called me up and asked me if I'd want to come out and uh, be a celebrity here today, I said, absolutely, man. Oh, that a lot of, a lot of, got a lot of big fans out here on the East Coast, you know, yeah. all the wrestling stuff yeah. now, and now I'm making a lot of movies. Yeah. So, uh, life is great, man. Life is good, man. I was, Excited to be here. And as you see, man, there's fans everywhere. How right? many wrestlers want that look for you pull it off this time? Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, it's a little bit different than my Mantar costume, but uh, you know, this is kind of the uh, role that I'm roles that I portray in different kinds of movies and stuff. This is, this is who I am, yes. This is Mike Alex, so uh, I hope you like it. I'm glad you like it. Thanks for the pleasure, man. Have a great day. But that's insane. No, it's completely insane. For the first time in a long time. This is Gerald Prescott with New Jersey Production. How did you get into acting before any of the Walking Dead? How? 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 Uh, I started with community theater. Okay. Uh, and it's something that I've done since I was in high school because I loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did community theater when I was in college. I did it as I moved around, starting my other careers, my other lives. Because acting is my third life, as I like to call it. And uh, then um, I was uh, blessed to be uh, in North Carolina from Cannons and Associates. And uh, they've cast a lot of stuff we've heard of, like One Tree Hill, uh, Walking Dead, Nashville. Uh, they do a lot of projects, Revolution, uh, etc. They also cast a lot of films, like Skeleton Key. Uh, and uh, I submitted my stuff to them. and. They were kind enough to see me and uh, bring me into audition on a number of things before I actually booked anything. And then when I started booking with them, they really have been supportive of my career. So they think of me when they have projects and, and they give me out many opportunities. What do you think was the most challenging project that you've worked on? Wow. You know, every project is challenging on, in many ways. Let's see, what was the most challenging? Wow. Well, you know, they're all so much fun. Yeah. It starts as challenge and it turns into fun. I can't even identify one that I would not do if I had a chance to do it again. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I've, been, I've right. been that fortunate. I really have. Because everything, even if it seemed like it was going to be difficult, what I found and what I always loved about theater is that the environment is very supportive. The director wants you to, to succeed. Um, the other cast members want you to succeed. Everybody, because it's collaborative, everybody wants it to be the best final project as possible. So everyone is really trying to help you uh, succeed. And, and that's a wonderful environment to be in. What pushes you the most? Where do you get that motivation to keep going, doing what you're doing? Yeah, that's a good question. You know what, I remind myself always how fortunate I am. I grew up with um, parents who were children of sharecroppers. And uh, they both worked every day of my life. Uh, and uh, I can't remember a morning waking up and my parents not having to go to work. You know, and so, and their work was like, my father worked first, second, and third shift. And my mother worked um, in, a, in a kitchen. Uh, and also was a maid sometimes. And so, when I get to do the kind of work I do, which can be hard in long hours, sometimes we shoot 12, 14, 16 hours, but, you know, it's, I, I don't do it every day that I live, and I love it, I love it all, and, and, and I know they didn't always love it all, and so that keeps me very motivated, I feel like, you know, what a, what a gift to me, and I try to maintain their work ethic, uh, and so, you know, I don't even feel terribly motivated. I feel like, okay, I'm doing what I should be doing to earn my space among humanity. You know, I'm, I'm working. I'm trying to give back something. I'm hoping that someone else will be motivated. And, you know, that's it. So you motivate me. Thank you. Thank it's you so much for your time. Okay. This is Tommy Dreamer from New Jersey Productions. Oh, Dreamer puts it right back.
between the uprights and then tosses Madness headfirst into the trash can. And oh. now it's time for the innovator of violence. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, DDT spiked him. Dreamer cover, pin, yes. What's the hardest thing in your line of business to deal with? Uh, the hardest thing, ECW was the matches because we killed each other. Uh, WWE was the travel and you're on the road a lot. Uh, being a dad now, my hardest part is being away from my family. Uh, just did 47 days on the road and it's kind of rough. You miss your kids a lot. You miss a lot of family events, weddings, funerals, birthdays. Uh, it's what you do. Tip for the fans, uh, how do I get my arms as big as yours? Ooh. My body is built with uh, peanut butter. I eat a lot of that now. No, but I used to be a, I used to be a real uh, body guy. I used to be a workout guy. I still do. But I've suffered a lot of injuries, so I can't really look as good as you do. And uh, these, I'm not now 44, but uh, just uh, you know, live a clean life, train a lot, eat good. That's kind of the best way you can do it. It sucks now. They say you have to do an hour of cardio a day once you hit 40 to maintain exactly what you look like. Wow. I train hard to look this bad. What's up? It's the rapping ninja Noel Reyes, tuned in with New Jersey Productions here at the Newark Comic Con. Whip you off a total victory. Where my ninja is at? You off a total victory. Where my ninja is at? You off a total victory. Where my ninja is at? Where my ninja is at? Catch me in the gym going in on triple digits while the bass knocks so loud You don't even hear it when the weights drop I'm in my zone, I ain't trying to waste So what made you first want to get into American Ninja Warrior? What was the inspiration behind it? Well, it just looked cool as hell, like everybody playing around on obstacles I've always been pretty athletic, so I just wanted to give it a shot you know? Okay, so you were one of those kids in the jungle gym playing around, right? Oh yeah, everybody yeah, else jumping over homework, yeah. Well, I did my homework first and then I played Look up to this guy, kids. <laughs> First time you competed, what was going through your head? Were you scared, anxious, nervous? Oh, I, I was super nervous. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had the bubble guts. <laughs> yeah. like, I, just, I just want to do well, you know. Uh, but once, once they said go, I kind of blacked out. I don't even really remember what happened. I mean, it was really fast too, so that could add to that. Because <laughs> I went down pretty early. But yeah, it was. Uh, it's. I still get nervous. You know, right before I start, I get nervous. I just try to focus and know that I train for it. So, you know. Besides all of the popular American Ninja Warrior workouts, this and that, what's your favorite one to do? Like your core strength training. Uh, well, I am of the belief that if you do anything with added weight, it just makes it so much easier. So I'm, I'm really big on calisthenics and I, I like to wear weighted vests up to like 150 pounds at a time doing pull-ups and push-ups and stuff. So. I know you were shooting her butt the whole time. I was trying not to look. I'm trying to look at you and I'm just like... Very distracted. Yes. Hey guys, it's Sergio, again, and uh, uh, can we start over? Yeah, I'm not the only no, one who's sexy. I'm editing, I'm editing.